Hello, you all. What is going on? Thank you so much for tuning in to your video for your life path number nine. I am Jocelyn, other known as J. Renee. And again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in, as well as I want to thank you all for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly, greatly appreciated on a whole nother level. All right, so before I can get into life path number nine, let me go ahead and give you guys like a backstory of what your life path number means and what it represents. So as we all know, in astrology, we have a sun sign. So in numerology, it's a life path number. So your life path number in numerology is equaled up to what your sun sign would be in astrology, okay? So this is your overall your strength and weaknesses and how you can overcome those weaknesses is different characteristic traits about who you are and what you are as a person and what um as a life path number nine or just as your life path number what you vibrate with with that number and also it can tell you what your life path and what your life purpose is so if you add it up in the sum of your total of your birthday is a life path number nine this is the informational video for you so life path number nines, I would like to describe you guys as the humanitarian of all the life path numbers. It's like you went through like a lot of things through different childhood just to get you to where you are so that you can be that humanitarian and that guidance counselor or that mentor for someone else who is going through or who is going through similar situations that you've already overcame. For me, life path number nine, I feel like you are like the old souls of the numerology chart i feel like you have been here really since the beginning of time your energy has been here since the beginning of time and you just reincarnated to help teach and guide others from experiences that you've already experienced not only in this lifetime but in past lifetimes as well so as you know in astrology um, each sign is ruled by a planet so in numerology it's just the same so life path number nine, you guys are um, represented by the planet of Mars, which is that Aries energy as well, like that first sign. So I feel like a lot of you life path number nines, you kind of go through a lot of things, a lot of like tests and stuff first to see how you can come out of it. And then you can help others come out of it as well. That Mars energy is a very strong, independent energy as well. So you can tend to be very strong and independent. But on the negative side, you can also hold on to a lot of things that you kind of need to let go. You can kind of like reflect on the past a lot and it needs to be healed so that you can move on to the future. So that not only so that you can learn those lessons, but so that you can help out other people as well. So just be really mindful of that life path number nines is don't like you're always like in the reflective energy. You're always like into your head a lot. If you can look at what the shape of a number nine is, it's like the top part of it is like a really big head. It looks like a really big head. And then the bottom is like y'all are always into your minds. So just like I said, just be really cautious of that because you can always um, be into the energy of overthinking sometimes and you can always be into the energy of like past experiences and what has happened to you in the past instead of really like looking at your present self or looking at your future self and really hopeful for the future. So like just kind of like heal from the past and be hopeful for the future. As a life path number nine as well, you guys are globally, naturally globally aware. So you may be interested in things that goes on in the world, whether it's the physical world or the spiritual world, you can kind of be like really attracted to things that are in the public eye that is in the outlet. And you can just be aware of certain things that others may not be aware of. You can kind of like see from a different perspective that others really can't see from. And sometimes life path number nines do get misunderstood a lot. But with that misunderstanding, you are meant, even when somebody does misunderstand you, you are such a humanitarian and you are such a great mentor and a great teacher that if you are misunderstood, you know how to get people to really understand what you mean and what you say. 
So that's a positive. But like I said, as far as like the negative side effects of a life path, well not side, I said side effects, the negative uh, weaknesses or I said the weaknesses of a life path number nine is that like I said, you can tend to be stuck in the past a lot what people did to you or what people said to you and sometimes like those things just have to be looked at like yeah that was did and that was said to me but i can heal and i can move on from it a lot of life path number nines also tend to have like a really rough childhood but that's just because you are meant to learn so much at an early age so that when you do grow up and to become adults you can be able to help mentor and teach people out of different things that they have went through now my favorite um life path number nine that i like to look at is jim carrey now jim carrey is very funny very um outgoing like he's a great performer as well but if you get to know jim carrey like on a personal level like just with the videos that he has out and just the the way he talks he talks like he's not from here at all so he talks like he has some type of deeper knowledge or deeper knowing about things and he knows how to get people to understand that deeper knowing so if you guys can look up like different life path number nines and look up what your favorite celebrity is and backtrack off of their energy what that represents not really try to do exactly what they're doing but just the energy that that person has that's how you can kind of like really like get in tune with who you are as a person life path number nines also are very mature is a very mature life path number again you have to think of like the the numbers one through eight one through nine nine is the oldest number so it's like a very mature energy it's a very knowledgeable energy too so as far as like careers go for your life path number like i said you will be great at like different mentorship groups different guidance counselors or just overall different teachings of things that you feel that you need to teach in your heart if you aren't into those things that's fine to each his own but you do need to be in an area that strengthens your mind it helps like strengthens your soul as well so that you won't be bored that you won't be stagnant you're always like you all sorry you're always looking for different information you're always looking for different things um that's outside of the box so that you can help and teach others so just be mindful of that you can be into like a career that helps out a lot of people as well i feel then this is just what i personally feel as far as life path number nines you do have like an empathetic energy as well so not only are you able to pick up other people's energies but you're able to pick up the energies of like plants animals any living thing that is here on this earth so you guys can be like veterinarians you guys can be like biologists um marine biologists any any type of things like that um those will be great career fields for you so also um make sure as a life path number nine that you continue to look forward that's the main thing of a life path number nine because like i said you have been through the test of one through eight you continue to look back and sometimes looking back can be like a negative thing like just think of if you're like running a race right if you're trying to run as fast as you can you don't look back you look forward you look where you're headed to you don't look back and um looking back it can really like get you into a place like i said use that metaphor that i just used like if you or the example that i just used if you are running a race and you're looking back you can't see what's in front of you and sometimes like you looking back at the past and looking back at what's chasing you and you're not looking what's forward um in front of you and you can slam right into a wall so just make sure that you're healing those things from the past and that you're looking forward to the future and your future is very very bright all right so thank you all so much life path number nine for tuning in like i said i greatly appreciate it if you like this video just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button also make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell so you won't miss out on any other videos that i post in the near future my next video will be based on your destiny number and i feel that your destiny number is like your moon sign for numerology so make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on the next videos that I have for you all, okay? Thank you all again so much. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.